assalamu alaikum it's janaji welcome back to my channel welcome back to my kitchen i've got the husband here today and he's actually going to be helping in the kitchen so one of these things that while you're at home we need something we encourage is to get the husbands and the family get in the, the kitchen. kids involved and you know in some sort of small way whatever the case is so it's nice just to get them involved and are you lucky i like to cook he does i kind of actually like to cook so you know Today's video, I actually was feeling for some Chinese food, but um, we, for Chinese food <laughs> every day, guys. <laughs> we've been trying not to buy food outside, so we just decided, like, okay, let's just make a meal at home. Today's video, we're going to be doing Chinese style chicken, fried rice, and chow mein. So husband is really basically just going to help me. Um, we're going to start off. I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that we're going to be using. So we're going to be doing this in three parts. We have the chicken. We're going to season up first. I just cook one thing at a time, right, guys? So, one thing at a time. Yeah. So in, to, to, to try to like um, speed up or like with the time, it's a play time. I kind of prepared everything. I chop up this already. already. No, he didn't. So oh. let me just show them the ingredients that we have, or you could just talk about it if sure. you want. We have some lovely julienne vegetables, <laughs> carrot, sweet pepper, cabbage. Yeah, so it's all sliced up thinly for chow mein, right? Chow so mein. the ratio, of course, if you like more cabbage in your chow mein, put more cabbage. If you want more cabbage, uh, carrot. But this is just basically the basic ingredient basic. for chow mein. And to go along with it, we have... We have some pimento, onion, and garlic. And ginger, because, yes, you know, people ginger. know... Asian style food, you must have ginger. I am not a fan of it. Usually I won't cook with it, but at this time we're trying to eat as much ginger and all these sort of healthy stuff. So it's in there. But it's a part of the Asian cuisine. For sure, well, for sure. Yes. Yeah. And that's the chow mein. That's the chow mein. For chow mein, we're going to be using some sesame oil. We're not going to use, use this um, soy sauce. And some fried rice seasoning. And chow mein is basically that simple. For the rice now, I've already boiled the rice. So we've got some parboiled rice that I have here, boiled it already. Three quarter way through, you don't want it to cook fully. A little stiff for the fire rice. Yeah, sort of, so you don't want it to be mashing up or getting mushy when you're mixing it all up. We're going simple today, so we have... Peas and carrots. Peas and carrots, regular, but you know, Chinese style fire rice, which is having it. Sweet pepper and chopped up onion and Chinese all kind style. of things. So we're trying to keep Peace it carrot. simple. And we have the regular grated ginger, garlic, and pimento we're cooking with, yeah. And then for the fried rice, we're going to be using some of the fried rice seasoning. Of course, you can't have fried rice without any color. So I'm using dark soy sauce for this rice. So some people might have light, but this is the dark one. I don't actually have light soy sauce on hand. So that's just the yeah. Output. And remember, it has salt. So the soy sauce will have salt in it. So you want to be careful because this fried rice seasoning has salt in it already too. So you don't want to put too much. And we're going to add a little bit of the garlic powder in it for some extra flavor. Now, finally, the Chinese style chicken. We never made Chinese style chicken. No, we didn't. So, this is a video for them, too. So, guys, Chinese style chicken, you normally fry the chicken in oil and then you have your sauce. But we're trying to, I thought, why not do it a kind of with a healthy twist? So, I have four pieces of chicken here. Two, we're going to be doing it regular style in the oil, and the next two. In the air fryer. Air fryer. Trying it out, I mean. So I think it should be the same. I think, yeah, I think, but air fryers are wonder machine, so we'll see. Yeah, I think it'll be the same way, just see the sauce that'll be important. Oh, we're seasoning so, the chicken with all. So this chicken, now I just have two leg and tie and two whole breasts, right? I'm not cutting it up into pieces yet. So all you're seasoning it with is some Chinese seasoning. Has salt in this already. So this is the JGM product, Chinese seasoning. Let's take a look at it. Um, okay, salt, five spice, ginger, yeah. right. white pepper, and the seed. Oh, right. Chinese seasoning. Yeah and some five spice, spice. spice. Okay. powder so we're going to be seasoning with this and that keeping it really simple now if you want to season it with some grated garlic and ginger and all of that soy sauce go ahead but we're just seasoning it up with this and put a lot of it and then the sauce we're going to be putting all the ginger and the garlic and the other stuff in it okay right the so, sauce, so after you fry you put the sauce you put the sauce you make your sauce and then you put the chicken in it you spill to top it with it okay so you fry it fry it make the sauce mm -hmm. Then you put the chicken, mm -hmm. then you chop it up. Put chop it up, chop then put the sauce. Okay. Whichever way now. We'll get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So simple, guys. So you're going to start off with doing the chicken. He'll season all the chicken for us, and then he is going to start. Which one do you want to start with first, your rice or the chow mein? Uh, Help. We all got everything cut up. All you had to do is cook it up. We'll do the rice 
Because the rice. Cool team. Yeah. So for the chicken, all you're basically going to be doing is adding the Chinese seasoning to it and the five spice powder. Mix that in all um, well within all the pieces of the chicken that you have there. You can let it sit, let it marinate for a couple of minutes, maybe a half an hour. He's using his hands in this, but if you guys prefer to use gloves, by all means, go right ahead. Remember when we are doing our videos, it is just for both of us to eat. If you want to use the gloves, go right ahead. So once you season up the chicken, just set it aside, let it marinate, and we'll work on the other stuff. So guys, he is about to start. All right, so you have the oil in there, the garlic, the ginger, and the tomato. We're just gonna cook that up a little bit. Don't let it burn. It should help. So now you're going to add in the peas and the carrots. Oh, Keep your heat on low medium, right? Low medium. Yeah. Next thing you want to do is add a little bit of the sesame oil to your pot and at this point you can also go in with the soy sauce. You can add just a little bit of soy sauce. Make sure that your heat is on low so that nothing sticks and nothing burns. Give that a quick stir. Once it's stirred up all nicely mixed in all well, you can throw in the cooked rice to the pot. So add the rice to the pot, mix it all up and if you want a darker color, add more of the soy sauce and just continue mixing it and adding the soy sauce accordingly until you get that desired color. Don't forget to add your garlic powder, some, a pinch of the garlic powder and also some of the fried rice seasoning which is just salt component. So you want to add some, taste it and then add more if necessary and then stir it up and you got yourself your fried rice. Looking perfect color. Right, so you don't want to over mix it too. Alright, you good there. You okay there? Yeah, so far one dish already done. So we're working on the chow mein now, right? So we're just going to add a little bit of oil to the pan. Right. And chow mein is one of those dishes that you cook uh, the length of the length of time you cook your vegetables for will depend on crunchiness how you want it. Right. So if you want a little crunch in it, don't cook it too long. We keep it on uh, heat on low medium. Have its goodness to add here. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. So I have some onions, garlic, the uh, ginger and the pimento we add here. I'm just going to let that cook just for about a minute or so, low medium heat. Alright, so now you can add your veggies, right? Because you don't want anything, you don't want to start to burn. Train everything one time or by bit? You could put like the carrots, but before, because I put the carrots, it, it's thin enough and you might want some crunch in it. Yeah, you don't like need to crunch. add it. Just yeah. Everything we need. Everything we need. You could start with the carrots. And my heat is on medium here, right? I'm not using a cover because you're not going to let it cook down. We don't want it to get like soggy or anything like that. Up to me though, I would probably cover it down and let it cook, but trying to keep that crunch. I like the crunch. Yeah. And this is actually a simple, um, a pretty straightforward menu, you know, rice, chow mein, and chicken. And it's a very, I would say very much budget friendly meal as, as well. Not much ingredients, and the ingredients that we are using are pretty straightforward and pretty cheap. And you add in your, you have to add in some of the sesame oil. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adding a little bit of sesame oil about one to two. This yeah. I just go like this. That's my average. Yeah, that's fine. Then. And you have to add in the um, fire season. That's what you do need to add in. The it's private season has salt in it so you can average it um and just adjust it according to your salt tolerance level cool so that's what it looks like how it looking how it looking charming almost ready see how quickly cabbage cook there guys like in no time at all so the rice is done guys, the chame is done, you're doing a good job so far. So um, you're going to put the chicken now. So you're going to put the two pieces in the air fryer and we have some oil heating up to fry it. The sauce, I don't think we mentioned the ingredients we sourced it. We? No, we didn't. You didn't. So the sauce now, we have some grated garlic, some grated ginger, um, some cornstarch to thicken up the sauce. Cornstarch is used a lot in Chinese yes, food, Asian style sure. food to get that thickness in the, like, you know, the pepper, shrimp and all these other sauces. Soups and yeah, yeah, soups and stuff. Cornstarch is what thickens up the, the, the sauce. Some oyster sauce is going in there. Some sesame, um, Wait, some soy sauce. sauce we oysters, in it? Some sesame oil. And we're going to be mixing that together. And the soy sauce has the salt content and ketchup going in there as well. 
So you can taste it. If you need to add some salt, you can add some of the Chinese seasoning when you make the okay, sauce. Okay, any sauce is not. Yeah. All right. So we're just gonna. That's just basically the ingredients for the sauce. We wanna get the um. So fried chicken. Fried chicken. Right. Put in two in the air fryer. Put in our leg and our thigh. I mean, yeah, like right, and thai yeah. and, uh, and a breast. Seasoned with just the Chinese seasoning and the spice. 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 Put that in. Right, so I put it for um, how much I put it? 30 30 some, minutes. 30 minutes. And then we need to put it, we put it for additional how much I have long. No, but I think 30 minutes should be fine here. Some big chicken. Yeah, so 30 minutes should be fine. And I put it on the highest temperature there, of course. So this oil we wanted to get, we're going to keep it on like a low medium heat. Alright, put it on like low medium. And we're going to cook the chicken, let it fry through properly. The last thing you want is to bite into some halfway cooked chicken. No butter or anything? No just butter. Chicken. Just frying it just like that. For like 25 minutes it will take. And then, yeah, you can make the sauce. In the meantime. Okay. In the meantime. So put it inside it Is it? Yeah, this is good. Let's try it out and see. Watch yourself. I'm going to put it I'm going to protect you, honey. You stay far from the soil. Put it in just like that, right? Skin. Skin down? Yeah. Don't want to drop this in. <laughs> Technical difficulties for this thing. You need some help? Oh, yeah. Not good. Hot inside it. Down like that. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to put that in the oven. want to check in to start to cook too fast, right? So it's bubbling a lot, that's okay. Because the other piece of chicken, everything that you add in it will kind of drop the temperature a little bit of the, with the, um, the oil. So you're going to keep it in low medium and let that cook through properly for 25 minutes. We don't have a thermometer, we don't use thermometer, we don't use thermometer until you get the temperature, perfect temperature. You just will cut all these chicken styles and that's what we do it when we inhale the chicken. The chicken is completely submerged in the oil? Yeah. Just about. Yeah, just about. So it's frying there, guys, looking good. Take your time when you do this, guys. It's quite dangerous. It's a chicken oil bingo. Yeah. Super. So let's continue cooking, right? So you want to get all brown, more brown, browner. And so let's cook it properly. Alright, guys. I'm about to take chicken out of the oil. It's been soaking in this bath for about 25 minutes. 25 minutes. You gotta check the basic size of your chicken. And drain off as much excess oil as possible. And Madame put some wax paper. Oh, yeah. On the cotton board. Alright, so see that nice color on it. Looking good. The air fryer is still going though. So the chicken did finish guys. So you also the chicken, right? The air fryer chicken. Now when we checked it, right? Well, I forgot though, is the air fryer, like the oil wouldn't really give such a intense color like when you're frying it in oil. So we checked it halfway through. It was, it, it was light yeah. color and you don't really want that. So I just added a little bit of soy sauce there to give it some of the color. So you want to be mindful of that though if you're doing it in the air fryer. So for the sauce now, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pot. Have some grated garlic, ginger. Alright. And we're going to add in this One sauce. Bit. Hold on. So this sauce is oyster sauce, water, sesame oil, soy sauce, and ketchup. So we're gonna mix that up. So you're just gonna let it um cook down a little bit guys if you added um, the water the cornstarch will thicken it up so it'll take just a couple of minutes and it will you will see the, the thickened sauce and that will be it for our Chinese style chicken sauce <laughs> so in the meantime guys he going to chop this up check it out check inside show them inside check out inside this can you see it pretty nice pretty nice da -da -da -ding. <laughs> hello can I order one small Chinese <laughs> Chow mein, fried rice and chicken. Sure. I there you go. got it. <laughs> so yes guys, that's it. Chinese side chicken with fried rice and chow mein. Easy husband helped in the kitchen. Was it hard? It was actually pretty easy. The only thing was the waiting time for the chicken to cook. Yeah, that was it. Everything else was like, boom. But even with that, remember you would have been 
Well, and it can be sauce, whatever you can And you would have put up everything else too. If you're able if to. If I was Jenna G, she'd have done everything in time. Yeah, so while the chicken would have been cooking, I would have done the rice and the chow mein, and you would have everything finished all the same time. So it's pretty good, guys. Got my Chinese food. So that could hopefully satisfy her craving for a day or two. <laughs> but actually, it's looking pretty good. The taste wise now. Try it, taste it. That tastes like Chinese style chicken. It is Chinese style chicken we made, obviously. No, it has like the kind of saltiness, the kind of sweetness. So it's chicken, no, no lie. That sauce, can I still do you? We never buy Chinese food again. It isn't just like Chinese style. <laughs> that, that, that chicken amazes me, actually. That shouldn't be a fried chicken before we end up. Okay. So like I said, it would have come out a little lighter than we... <laughs> she picked it up one piece. So it's cooked through, right? But because it didn't have like the color, like the, the oil to give it that extra color, that's what it came out like. So, not as dark. Ouch, hot. It might be hot there, honey. So I just put a little soy sauce in it just to give it some extra color. So you want to be mindful of that too, okay? But I don't want to add too much because when my Chinese season has salt in it already. So if you had add any more, it would probably gotten salty. So just be mindful of that when you do any air fried chicken. But it will it's be... a good option. So yeah, guys, try out this Chinese fried chicken recipe. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? So, and send me pictures, of course. I like it when you all send me pictures. Y'all will love it. Love it, love it. So, time it to eat now. Yes, thanks so much for watching. Hope you had fun in the kitchen. Of course, next time, making a KFC zinger and cruncher. Yeah, because right? I'm feeling for that. So. Gotta make the bread from scratch, realize Ooh, We have no sesame. Do you have sesame seeds on here? I will put chia seed or something. No worries. So, so yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys in another video.